Hello, my name is Chi Tang Chin and I am from the National Heart Centre here in Singapore and it is my great pleasure to present on behalf of my co-authors as well as my fellow Trilogy ACS investigators the effect of prior clopidogrel use on outcomes in medically managed acute coronary syndrome patients. By way of introduction, we know that current clinical practice guidelines recommend dual antiplatelet therapy, DAPT, comprising of aspirin and a P2Y12 receptor inhibitor for patients with unstable angina or non-ST segment elevation myocardial infarction or non-STEMI, regardless of whether patients undergo early revascularization or are treated only optimally with medical therapy. The most widely used P2Y12 receptor inhibitor is clopidogrel, but we know that this is associated with variability in patient responsiveness that manifests in inadequate platelet inhibition and leads to an increased risk for astrothrombotic events among patients with high on-treatment platelet reactivity. More potent P2Y12 receptor inhibitors with less response variability than clopidogrel have been shown to reduce the risk of ischemic outcomes among patients undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, for acute coronary syndromes, but the impact of more potent antiplatelet therapy among patients who develop a new ACS event despite prior long-term use of DAPT, in this case aspirin and clopidogrel, has not been studied. We therefore investigated whether prior clopidogrel use would influence long-term ischemic and bleeding risks, as well as whether this would modify the randomized treatment effect of clopidogrel versus prasugrel among medically managed patients who presented with acute coronary syndromes who were treated with dual antiplatelet therapy. I will now explain the methods. Medically managed patients with ACS in the targeted platelet inhibition to clarify the optimal strategy to medically manage acute coronary syndromes, otherwise known as the Trilogy ACS trial, were randomized to clopidogrel versus prasugrel plus background aspirin, and these patients were randomized and stratified as per prior clopidogrel use. From the analysis population, which comprised of 8,927 patients, we compared two groups. The first group we termed the clopidogrel in-hospital group. This comprised of 6,513 patients, and these patients all had clopidogrel started within 72 hours of presentation for the index ACS event, and were then continued on maintenance clopidogrel until they were randomized. This group was comp compared to the prior clopidogrel group, which comprised of 2,414 patients, and these patients had been taking clopidogrel for at least five days before they were hospitalized for ACS and continued on clopidogrel until they were randomized. We examined treatment-related differences in ischemic outcomes, specifically all-cause death, cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction, stroke, as well as the composite endpoint of cardiovascular death, MI or stroke, as well as bleeding outcomes, which were defined by gusto criteria. Through 30 months, and analyze this between patients in the two groups, as well as whether or not the randomized treatment effect uh, affected outcomes. Both unadjusted as well as adjusted analyses were performed. Table one, which we will now show, shows the comparison between the patients in the two groups. You can see that compared with patients who were in the clopidogrel in-hospital group, patients in the prior clopidogrel group were younger, more likely to have prior cardiovascular events or coronary revascularization, and this led to a higher frequency of cardiovascular death, MI, or stroke through 30 months, as shown here in this table, with no difference in bleeding events. The randomized treatment effect, prasugrel versus clopidogrel, was similar for ischemic and bleeding outcomes in both groups. All interaction p-values were greater than 0.05. How might the results of our study impact upon clinical practice? Well, we now know that compared with medically managed patients who were newly started on clopidogrel for ACS in the Trilogy ACS trial, patients who were previously on clopidogrel had a higher risk of the primary composite endpoint of cardiovascular death, MI, and stroke, with no difference in bleeding outcomes. Additionally, there were no differences in outcomes as stratified by prior clopidogrel use by the randomized treatment assignment. 
classic rail or club rail rail. Therefore, this implies a need for management strategies beyond antiplatelet therapy for this patient population, and therefore further study is now indicated and merited so that we may better understand how we can better improve outcomes for this specific patient population. Thank you very much.